Joe Biden told us recently, my disinformation board is gonna focus on foreign sources of disinformation. It's not aimed at the domestic population. Well, thank heaven for Senator Josh Hawley because he just got whistleblower documents showing that is, of course, a total lie. So this new whistleblower documents were just released last night. 40 pages of documents from the Department of Homeland Security. So if you thought the disinformation board was kind of stalled for right now, we're learning a lot more about all the work they were doing before they announced it publicly. The memos Hawley obtained showed the board was created in part to monitor domestic speech, conspiracy theories about the validity and security of elections and COVID vaccines. The people that the Biden administration thinks are the real threat to America, it's not the drug cartels, it's not foreign threats, it, it's you, it's the American people. Yeah. If you have questions about COVID, if you have questions about COVID masks, if you have questions about the COVID vaccine, this administration wanted you to be monitored. This disinformation board was set up to go after you. That's what the documents say. This was all about targeting Americans. Had nothing to do with uh, drug cartels or Russian cyber attacks. We filed our Freedom of Information Act request on April 29th. They did not respond. We asked for the letter is a request in accordance with the Freedom of Information Act. That is what it is. They did not respond. We have filed in the United States District Court for the District of Columbia. American Center for Law and Justice versus the United States Department of Homeland Security. It is a federal lawsuit seeking information, including records of any communication or information exchanged between DHS and all appointees of the GS-14 level or higher, that's the second highest level, and any non-governmental person, that would be Twitter, Facebook, whatever social media platforms are doing, regarding the disinformation governance board revealed by Secretary Mayorkas on April 27th. We filed our Freedom of Information Act request on 29 April, April 29th. They did not respond. They didn't say, hey, give us 30 more days. You know, we're looking, nothing. They ignored it as if we're going away. Well, guess what? The American Center for Law and Justice is not going away. Law enforcement sources are confirming to Fox that an armed man was arrested near the Maryland home of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. He was armed with a gun, a knife, and pepper spray and told authorities that he was there to kill the justice. He was ready to go through with this to kill Justice Kavanaugh. He said this to the police. He was there to kill Justice Kavanaugh because of the draft leaked overturning of Roe versus Wade. Dobbs opinion. Two people familiar with the investigation said the initial evidence indicates the man was angry about the leaked draft of an opinion by the Supreme Court with regard to overturning Roe v. Wade. Schumer said this in front of the Supreme Court. He's caused. He is responsible for this. The rhetoric out of the left, the Biden administration and Democrats, they are all responsible for this. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. I think what he said crossed the line from free speech to inciting violence. And now we're seeing that violence come out. He should be held accountable for his language, his rhetoric, which they're gonna start a special committee on that. Why don't they have a special committee investigating what uh, Senator Schumer meant? I think it's important to also note, uh, Supreme Court justices, members of Congress don't have the kind of security that uh, the president has or the, the speaker of the house has. And so there are moments where if you have some crazed individual with a gun that wants to do a justice harm, there is opportunity for that. This rhetoric is turning into real violence. We could have woken up to news about a Supreme Court justice being assassinated today. This is all because of the rhetoric of radical Democrats who are now have been seized on this rhetoric by domestic terror organizations. So in California and San Francisco, the most liberal major city in the United States, by 20%, 60% of the voters there, as the votes come in, have voted to recall their district attorney. Chesa Boudin is one of the most progressive prosecutors in the country, and that's why this recall election is being watched so closely nationwide. Now, San Francisco voters elected Boudin in 2019 when he ran on a platform of criminal justice reform. Recall supporters say the city has become more dangerous since he took office. On a district attorney level, you have to have such bad crime going on, such bad policies being enacted, and I, as we said, this was a DA more interested in social engineering than law enforcement. 
that they have voted in San Francisco to recall their district attorney. Recall Tessa! Recall Tessa! The progressive reforms that helped elect San Francisco's district attorney, Chase Boudin, in 2019 may have caused those same voters to toss him out of office last night. A DA's job is to prosecute crime. If they're not prosecuting crime and are engaged in social engineering, the city's going to go into chaos. And guess what's happened in San Francisco? Chaos. I've been robbed on Mission Street. I was jumped on 6th Street. The owner of this San Francisco sandwich shop says the DA's politics are no match for crime in his city. I'm not sure he's just soft on crime. I think he's arguably pro-criminal, which is the problem wow. when it's the prosecutor in the city. Also in Los Angeles, a candidate for mayor between a Democrat congresswoman, Bass, and a Caruso, a business guy, who was a Republican until he started running for mayor, uh, has got support from Elon Musk, and he is in the lead. Now, it'll be interesting how it shakes out in LA, but you're seeing in two very liberal cities on the left coast, voters who are liberal saying enough is enough.